guys don't forget to subscribe on youtube and instagram scrub and spoon let's go a woman attempting a vagina birth after cesarean v back that is they are trying to have vagina birth after c-section right suddenly reports tearing abdominal pain during contraction fetal heart rate tones drop and the uterus feels abnormal what is the nurse priority action a administer iv pain medications b check for cervical dilation c notify the provider immediately and d encourage the client to push guys the right answer is to notify c is to notify the provider immediately this is an emergency do you know what is happening here look at this look at the symptoms right here they said she reports tearing abdominal pain during contractions the fetal tone is down and heart tone is down and the uterus feel abdominal these are classic sign of uterine rupture which is very life-threatening and immediate section have to be done some of you might be wondering what is uterine rupture uterine rupture is when the muzzle wall of the uterus tear open and that's why the lady was feeling a tearing abdominal pain quick quick response is needed immediately and the other one say hey administer iv pain medications yes yes you might be thinking okay she's in pain you want to administer pain medication but that is not really treating the the main issue right here the main issue is uterine rupture if you give them pain medication it will mask the pain but it's not really dealing with the main cause of the issue of the pain okay the next one says um check for cervical dilation you're already wasting time because you have seen the symptoms presented to you that the heart, the fetal heart rate is down and the and the and the abdomen the abdominal already look abnormal so you're checking the cervical dilation is like you're wasting time because it's an emergency emergency situation and um encourage the client to push this is contraindicated in uterine rupture because the fetal heart rate is already down the, the fetus is already in distress you want the mother to push at this point no an immediate c-section has to be done okay now a client in the third trimester complains of severe abdominal pain and has a firm tender uterus with dark red vagina bleeding what complication should they not suspect a placenta previa b preterm labor c placenta abruption and d uterine rupture guys it's it, the, the symptoms and evidence is clear you already know what this is severe abdominal pain and firm and has a firm tender uterus with even if you don't know anything look at with dark red vagina bleeding what is that telling you placenta abruption placenta abruption um placenta previa you know what that would be bright red blood that those are the signs you will see preterm labor the, the signs here are no signs of preterm labor when the uterine rupture you know what you're gonna see there will be tearing abdominal pain the, the, the patient is going to complain of pain tearing abdominal pain because the muscle wall of the uterus tears open that's uterine, uterine rupture so there will be bleeding right and the abdomen will feel abnormal those are the signs okay guys a client in active labor delivers the baby's head but the shoulders fail to deliver what is the priority nursing action a apply fundal pressure b call the healthcare provider c perform macrobot maneuver and d reposition the client to left lateral and guys the correct answer is c perform macrobot maneuver and what is this maneuver this is you bringing the hyperflexing the the patient's leg to their chest like their knee to their chest and what does this do this flatten the spine and help to create space or room in the pelvic to open the pelvic for the for the for the shoulder this situation is shoulder dystocia which means the shoulder of the baby the head came out as you can see in the question but the shoulder is stuck in the pelvic right so what you have to do is that robot maneuver and that creates space in the pelvic for the in the pelvic for the shoulder to really come out the first one say apply fonda pressure you do not want to do that because guess what that's going to do that's going to cause more impact impaction put 
pressure on the shoulder even more and that can cause injury on the shoulder and the mother's pelvic too okay and the next one is call the healthcare provider you want to call your healthcare provider for what this is a situation you can handle because the time you are using to call the healthcare provider you could have done this maneuver in shoulder dystocia the first line of action is mac robot maneuver okay there's no time wasting time to call the healthcare provider and the last one says reposition the decline in left lateral guys you do not have in this in this situation you do not have to reposition the patient in left lateral in a situation where you have to reposition the, the client a pregnant woman in 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 lateral position is if you want to increase placenta perfusion you can do that it could be cord prolapse right the cord, the head of the baby is pressing on the cord right then you can put your patient on left lateral position in this situation the best line of action is the knee to chest position which will help open the pelvic for the shoulder to come out okay next question is a nurse notice a sudden drop in fetal heart rate after the rupture of the membrane upon examination the umbilical cord is felt in the vagina what is the immediate nursing action a apply oxygen via face mask b reposition the mother in high fowlers c manually elevates the presented part of the cord and d prepare for vacuum assistance delivery guys the right answer here is c manually elevates the presented part of the cord you have to use sterile glove to manually hold the presenting part so so this is in this situation this is called prolapse right so what you have to do is put on your sterile glove and hold let's say it's the head of the baby that is presenting because the head is compressing on the cord and what is this doing this is cutting off oxygenation to the baby right so what you want to do is to lift the presenting part the head or, or, or the body part that is presenting lift it up with your sterile glove to release pressure on the cord so that oxygen can get to the baby and this is an emergency a c-section has to be performed immediately all right let's go through the other option apply oxygen via face mask yes you can apply oxygen via face mask but this oxygen is only going to the mother remember cord prolapse is the cord the cord that is compressed is what is supplying oxygen to the baby so you giving the mother oxygen will not do anything for the baby because the oxygen will not get to the baby because the cord has been compressed down okay position the baby mother in high fowlers are you kidding me you are telling me your patient is experiencing cord prolapse and you want to pull them in high fowler you know what high fowler is you are bringing their head sitting up like i am that is terrible if in fact you want to reposition them you have to put them in trendelibor position because this will help push the baby backward a bit because you are putting you are lifting them like downward like that and the last one says prepare for vacuum assistant del assisted delivery this is this is dangerous in this situation an immediate c-section has to be performed right all right let's go into next one a laboring client is diagnosed with late decelerations on the fetal monitor what is the nurse parity action increase iv fluids reposition the mother administer oxygen notify the provider and guys the correct answer is reposition the mother you are repositioning the mother to what left lateral position okay why this um this increased oxygenation flow to the baby now late deceleration is when there is not enough either blood flow or oxygen to the placenta placenta insufficiency so you repositioning the mother to the left side we we increase blood and oxygen flow to the placenta because if the placenta is not receiving blood and oxygen flow remember that is the powerhouse to the baby right and that's why you want to reposition the, the mother first increase iv fluids you can do all of this later increase iv fluid um administer oxygen after reposition you can administer oxygen to help proper oxygenation notify the care provider you can do this later but the first the main important thing is what repositioning the mother all right a client at 32 weeks gestation presents with painless bright red vagina bleeding what should the nurse do first a perform a sterile vagina exam b assess fetal heart rate tone c 
administer oxytocin and d encourage ambulation and guys the answer is b assess fetal heart tone you know what's happening here what is happening here is placenta previa because look at the signs look at the signs and symptoms it's presenting to you with painless bright red vagina bleeding this is placenta previa right and what is placenta previa this is when the placenta is covering the cervix and it's painless that's your clue painless vibrant red bleeding so that is the correct answer so once you see all these signs you already know what's going on and the first thing you want to do you want to assess the fetal heart tones to see how the baby in there is doing number one uh, asa perform sterile vaginal exam she's already bleeding what vaginal exam are you trying to do um um see administer oxytocin you know what it's going to do this is going to cause even stronger contraction and it can increase bleeding and what it can cause the placenta to detach so you don't want to you don't want to give oxytocin at all and the last one is encourage ambulation where are they going to ambulation to where because that can also do what increase bleeding you want to have them on bed rest please now which of the following findings would indicate the need to discontinue a magnesium sulfate infusion in a client with preeclampsia you know what that means okay now one urine output of 35 ml per hour respiratory rate of 10 breaths 10 breaths per minute deep tendon flexes two plus and fetal heart rate of 140 bpm guys and your correct answer is respiratory rate of 10 breaths per minute b guys without even if you don't know what is preeclampsia or whatever look at the list of your option airway breathing and circulation you know normal respiratory rate is what 12 to 20 and a patient is having um the respiratory rate of 10 breaths per minute that would be the that would be your priority action because decreased respiratory rate in this in this patient that is taking magnesium sulfate it shows magnesium sulfate toxicity because guys look the respiratory rate is low lower than usual which this is indicating what that there is magnesium toxicity because normal respiratory rate is 12 to 20. so even if you do not know what they are talking about here just remembering your airway breathing and circulation which of these options is your priority the respiratory rate so once you see the respiratory rate is low you need to discontinue the magnesium sulfate because why there is magnesium toxicity okay